You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your bald and the beautiful episode spoilers for Tuesday, August 29th. The headline is we are going to see Deacon and Sheila's nine toes in a complete and total panic, and this should be lots of fun. I have to say, in my opinion, Bald and Beautiful kicked off the week with a very strong episode on Monday, August 28th. We saw Liam and Thomas face off. I felt like Thomas was pretty reasonable. And again, I feel like the writers forgot that Liam basically forgave Thomas in 2021. The mannequin craziness and the gaslighting and trying to trick Hope, that was all 2020 and prior. Okay. Then at the end of 2020, Thomas had brain surgery when they found out he had some kind of swelling in his brain, something or another, something to explain the behavior. And then he got serious therapy with a real therapist, not just, you know, Dr. Mom. And the only naughty thing that Thomas has done since then was the fake CPS call. They were parent trapping the parents. Steffi was doing stuff, parent trapping them too, you know, and they've honestly done worse over the years. This is not the first parent trapping thing we've seen, but that was nothing to do with Liam. It had nothing to do with trying to steal hope, no danger to any any kids, nothing. And then in 2021, if you remember, Liam asked Thomas to take care of hope and the kids while he was in prison for vehicular, well, facing prison for vehicular homicide. And if it wasn't for Thomas revealing what Vinny did, Liam and Bill might still be in prison. Thomas could have very easily left him there, not revealed what he knew, and had done like Liam said and just took up with Hope and the kids. But he didn't. He saved Liam and Bill. So this is either about the writers not knowing the history, and it's very recent history, to be clear, or not respecting it. But I want to dig into all of this and all your spoilers for Tuesday. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe. Let's dig in. So also on Monday, we saw Hope and Thomas in a steamy makeout session at the office after he told her that Liam is a fool, after he told Liam the same thing. And that was after Brooke told Hope, steer clear of that guy. But there is more Hope and Thomas action action on Tuesday. We also saw on Monday, RJ and Eric were talking about the new line that he wants to create with RJ's help. And also Brooke ran and blabbed Hope's business to Steffi and Ridge because, you know, she can. And that was again after she piled onto Thomas trying to blame him for Hope's marriage imploding, even though Hope made it clear, mom, not his fault. Now let's dig into what to expect on Tuesday, August 29th. So (laughs) we are going to go from the least to the most exciting. So for me, that's starting with RJ and Eric. We saw Grandpa Eric admitting to RJ that he's got arthritis, and that's why he can't hold a pencil. He can't draw right now. That's why he needs help with this legacy line he wants to do. Not only is Eric asking his grandson to help design, but also to keep it hidden that he's got arthritis. So RJ will agree to help according to official Bold and Beautiful spoilers, and RJ is going to show Eric some of the -the state-of-the-art digital design tools But I'm kind of wondering exactly how that's going to work. Most digital artists work with a stylus, which is just like a pencil, which probably won't work if you have arthritis either. I've got a little bit of arthritis in my left hand and it's not fun. So thankfully I'm right-handed, but we'll see if they're going to, I don't know, somebody still puts pencil to tablet versus pencil to paper, stylus versus pencil. All right. The next most interesting spoiler to me for Tuesday is Sheila Carter and Deacon Sharp are together doing their thing. And then they freak out when someone comes to the door of his itty bitty apartment that you would think a restaurant owner would not live in. In anymore. And it's not one, but two someone's at the door. So Deacon panics and he stashes Sheila in the tiny bathroom. Let's hope neither Carter Walton nor Ridge Forrester have to pee 
while visiting him because it's those two that drop by. Of course, the topic of conversation is Nine Toes Full of Crazy Sheila. They want to know if he knows where she is and he's going to play dumb. They want her locked down, but really, I don't know what they think they're going to do since the judge dismissed the charges because Bill and Ridge are stupid. But maybe they want to put a tail on her with their security company. Meanwhile, Sheila hides and eavesdrop, eavesdrop while Deacon lies and denies about her whereabouts which is, oh, I don't know, about two feet away from where they are. But based on spoilers for next week, the week of the 4th, I suspect Ridge is going to soon figure out that Deacon is still tapping that psycho booty and go after him just because of them saying that Deacon soon that Ridge soon targets Deacon. All right, so the last tidbit I have for Tuesday, August 29th is about Thomas and Hope, and it is sizzling. We're going to dig into that and tell you all about it. But first, if you haven't already, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. If you're enjoying these daily episode spoilers, please click us a like and definitely drop your comments on what you're hoping to see. And be sure to tell me if you are from another country. I am going to do the shout outs at the very end in just a second. So we saw Thomas and Hope on Monday making out like he was still crazy and she was a mannequin. Then she kind of pulled back. And the look on Hope's face to me was like she was hearing her mother in her ear. Stay away from Thomas. Anybody but Thomas. Go back to your waffling ex. Anyone but Thomas. That mantra that Brooke likes to say. So Thomas is going to again tell Hope how much he loves her and that he wants to love her in the way she deserves to be loved. He says he wants a future with her, wants to be with her, and what does Hope say? Well, it's pretty interesting. She clearly still is very attracted to Thomas, but doesn't want to take heat from her mom or Liam or anybody else. So she's going to tell Thomas, you know, I'm fresh off this divorce that's still in process. I need time to kind of work through everything. But she agrees they can take it slow and figure out something. And Hope says maybe they can each get some of what they want, something that'll work for both of them. Clearly, she wants a man who worships her and only her, but she doesn't want to be constantly browbeaten by her mother over wanting who she wants, despite Brooke going after whoever she wanted and anybody else be damned. So, you know, Brooke has made a lot of indefensible mistakes in her love life. And I see that she's trying to protect Hope, but she's to the point where it's overbearing. Hope is in her 30s. She needs to zip the lips. I think. And Thomas basically is going to take whatever crumbs that he can get from Hope. So I suspect that Hope is going to ask him if they can date in secrets. Maybe dinner's at his house with the door locked, uptight, deadbolt thrown, chain on, chair under the doorknob, so her mother can't come walking in again. I think for now, Thomas will absolutely settle for that, but maybe in the long run, he will not. Wait to see exactly what Hope proposes and what they agree to in the end. And that's all we have for Tuesday, August 29th, Bold and Beautiful full episode spoilers. Shout out, of course, to our U.S. viewers and those from Norway, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, the Netherlands. And I just saw a few comments from viewers in France. Welcome aboard. Thanks for tuning in. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 